Hi, I'm Christy. And I'm Lauren. This is your WCCO at the State Fair newscast. We begin today with developing story from the Midway. Right now, State Fair officials are on the lookout, a giant stuffed gorilla. We're told it's black and lime green, and it's at least eight feet tall. It was last spotted near the Ferris wheel. Officials don't think he's dangerous, but if you see him, call 911. Over near the pet center, fairgoers are reporting a strange howling sound. Officials were called in to investigate. It turns out it was just the dogs at the pet center trying to keep up with all of the people belting out Usher and Sam Hunt songs at the giant sing-along. That's a look at your state fair headlines. Let's send it over to the sports. Great. Hi, I'm Maria with a look at sports. A bit of a controversy in bru is brewing about a new grand championship was named in the State Fair Ring Toss Rodeo. A 10-year-old girl from the Iron Range went five for five, beating her out, beating our own Chris Schaefer by WCCO's, by one WCCO's investigating uh. team is on the story. It looks like the 10-year-old girl was a ringer brought in from Iowa. We're continuing to follow the story by now, <laughs> but now let's get a look at the weather. Thank you. It is a hot one out here at the Minnesota State Fair. So hot that ice cream cones are melting in less than two minutes. Snow cones are lasting only about three minutes. And a warning that brain freeze numbers have tripled this year as fairgoers try to keep cool. I'm Mary Jean in the Weather Center. Back to you. That's your news for today. I'm Christy. I'm Maria. And I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching WCCO4 at the State Fair. This has been a WCCO4 news update from the Minnesota State Fair. Thanks for watching.